Hello, uh, the next speech I'm going to make is um, about something which is quite close to my own heart, and that is drinking beer. More specifically, beer in uh, the UK, as produced by monks there. So, we'll get started. Ladies and gentlemen, a small abbey in the north of England is about to make a small piece of history. The monks of that abbey are going to be releasing for sale uh, the first monastic beer to be produced in England in over 450 years. Now, to understand why this is a piece of news in the UK, uh, you have to understand a little bit about uh, English history. You see, England, like most countries across Europe used to have plenty of monasteries producing plenty of beer. The monks would produce beer and food in order both to feed themselves but also to sell to the people who lived nearby the monasteries. But then in England we had uh, a king come along who was called Henry VIII uh, and he had the slightly unfortunate um, habit of getting married and then chopping off women's heads, his, well, his wives' heads. Uh, and um, this didn't go down too well with the Catholic Church. Uh, and as a result of the argument that he had with the Catholic Church, Henry decided to set up his own church, the Church of England, and at the same time to abolish all the monasteries in England. The monks who had been working in those monasteries left the country taking their beer-making skills with them. Most of them went to France. By the time that the monks were allowed back into England in about the 18th century, uh, they found that tastes had changed and their strong monastic beer was no longer fashionable. People simply didn't want to drink it. And so, little by little, their beer-making skills became forgotten. Until recently, that is, because just over the last five or ten years, there has been something of a craze for traditional, traditional recipes, traditional building methods, and the monks have thought that this might be a good opportunity to rediscover some of their ancient skills, and that's precisely what they claim to have done. They've rediscovered a secret and ancient recipe to make uh, beer. Uh, they've already some experience in this area. They've been producing cider over the last 10 years, which has been hugely successful. And now they're going to produce a beer. The beer is organic, and it's going to be made from local produce, which should be good for the local economy. Um, and um, it's going to be quite strong, uh, as monastic beers tend to be, over 7%. You may wonder whether it's a morally right thing to do for uh, monks to be selling beer in a part of the country which has very severe, severe alcohol problems. Uh, but the monks have thought about this too. They have set the price for the beer very high at over £3.50 per bottle. Uh, this, they say, will both discourage excessive drinking and will also price out young me people from the market. Uh, in that way, the monks will be able to sell their beer with a clear conscience and uh, as a nice little corollary, of course, they'll have a big fat bank account. Thank you.